Hello and welcome to CCIEadvisor.com. In this lesson we will be discussing how to set Auto QoS on a switch globally. Now that's a Cisco Catalyst switch and we've got to have Auto QoS. you got to have it. I recommend it even if you don't have voice at the time. Just go ahead and enable it and you'll be ready for the next step when you do decide to take the leap towards voice over IP which is a good step. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this switch. We're going to do a show run and I'm going to show you something really quickly. SH space RUN is enough for show running config. And with just a couple um, space bars here, we can see that there's no auto QoS, no QoS enabled. If it were, it would show up at the top of the switch here. On the catalyst switches, it's always at the top. And Actually, show run is a pretty good command for that. Now, we're configuring one of the switch ports on the top of the switch. In this case, it's interface fast Ethernet 03. We've already configured it for a data VLAN. We've already configured it for a switch port, uh, for voice, excuse me. Now, um, you can see the, the keyword voice. Okay. So now we see that it's set for port fast too, which is totally fine. So it, this way it won't go through um, the spanning tree for, for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds. So let's go ahead and type configure terminal. And now that we're typing configure terminal, what we want to do is, is go ahead and go into the, um, the interface because even though you're configuring it globally, you have to put it, turn it on on the interface. So let's go ahead onto the interface, interface fast Ethernet 03. This is our guinea pig interface and we're going to type auto QOS VOIP and Cisco phone. We're going to have a Cisco phone. If you're not using Cisco phones, I apologize. You need to go out and buy some Cisco phones. Now, if you see this here, it took a moment. Did you see that? It took a few seconds. Usually it returns a lot quicker than that when you type in a command. It's because it's running all the algorithms. It's it's changing the architecture behind the scenes, the, the software configuration at any any rate. So this um, what we're going to see is we're going to see that command show up on the switch port and not only that but on the top of the the catalyst switch config when we do a show run we're going to see a lot of the um, the configurations that we've just created magically or auto magically a lot of like a lot of people say so if you we'll do a show run for a show running configuration and we'll look at the top of the switch there we go I see some configurations here. The MLS QoS. And now let's look at this. And now this is on 3550. Okay, it's going to be the same configuration on a 3560, which we'll also do. But it's it's gone ahead and written all the commands that you need for MLS QoS Trust COS, the phone and the trust device Cisco phone. Now it's going to look a little bit different on the 3560s and that's going to be okay. It's going to be the same uh, the same thing and it, your your port is now ready to plug in a Cisco phone. Now of course you've got to worry about your uplinks, your your trunk links and where you're going to your core switch and whatnot. Um, all those, con like I said previously, all those interfaces have to be configured for QoS and this so what's going to look like? It's going to look like this. You're going to need to make sure you put those kinds of things on your on your uplinks. So don't forget that. We'll type a a write to memory here, and we're going to be good to go. So thank you for joining this lesson, uh, CCIE Advisor, on how to configure Auto QoS on a Cisco Catalyst switch.